P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left, help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
What? What was that? A tribute to the departed. Comrade Sechenov, we've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelame as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly, without leaving a trace? It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances, and without witnesses, after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, He's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination with inner facilities swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov will never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Kremlin. World. It's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right.
Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control Hub. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between Facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required, such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the central hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Ah, oh, another dungeon. This is the testing ground, Major. There should be weapons here. <sighs> testing ground, hey, dungeon, yeah. same difference. Let's find the stuff and get moving. Please select the desired procedure. Access granted.
The dreams and aspirations of Facility 3826's scientists know no bounds. The daring Soviet scholars want to know, how can I make a Soviet citizen's life in space as comfortable as possible? What conditions are key to making their stay outside of the Earth's atmosphere indistinguishable from what they're used to? Here, at Testing Ground 6, you can observe one such experiment. It may be possible for future space-faring generations to watch movies in zero gravity. The answer is, naturally, for the Soviet citizen, nothing is impossible. If it isn't Comrade Lutyagin... You seem rather gloomy. Is something wrong? No, I just feel like I had a bad dream or something. And this guy was there. Pull yourself together. You haven't slept in a long time, Major. I feel like I'm asleep right now and I'm having a nightmare. It's no nightmare. It's a mirage.
This turbine serves both as a high facility for teams of WSP-9s and as an actuator for the generator that supplies power to the testing ground mechanical staff. Testing Ground 6's planning department is responsible for 1. Obtaining and supporting solutions for the construction of future testing workshops 2. Producing construction designs for the reconstruction, repair, and construction of new buildings 3. Producing design specifications and estimates for construction jobs and 4. Preparing planning-related statements of work
Not bad. It will get better, Comrade Major. Was that a joke? At whose expense? Huh. Let's get going. Access granted. Seventeen. The cow is of the bovine ink. One end is moo, the other milk. Okay then. What the fuck is this bullshit? Cow shit, comrade major. As you can see, this is a cow. Quart three. Nothing is worse than being alone on the evening of the day when one's cow has exploded. Apparently, the neural network plugged it into the system and is now providing it with the cultural information related to cows. And the animal is broadcasting it. What do you mean by broadcasting it? Like, over radio? Quote 95. To one, science is an exalted goddess. To another, it is a cow which provides him with butter. Shedrick Filler. Fuck. I don't know who this Schiller guy is, but apparently this side of beef does. Well, what is this if not proof of Collective's greatness, Major? Quote one. Even if you give cacao to a cow, you can't get chocolate. Stan is worth less I don't know whether this is disgusting or magnificent, but either way, I'm out of here.